Hey, Shani from speedcubeview.com. Let's talk about how to solve a pyramid. Now this is gonna be a very beginner method and this method is gonna be called keyhole method. A lot of people use one called layer by layer or there's different ones out there, but this one's keyhole method. So first I'm gonna assume that you have never solved a pyramid before. And a couple things about the pyramid is that it's pretty simple. There are four tips and these tips really don't do anything. They spin in place, so you don't really have to worry about them being out of place. And then there are the centers, and the centers are these ones that come off the tips and point towards the middle, meaning that when things move around, these centers are always going to be in that same place. And so there's always going to be three that can line up, three blues, three reds, so on and so forth. As far as solving this, the way it's going to work is there's three steps really. There is the intuitive part where you're solving two edges. You use the keyhole to insert or orient the bottom three centers. Then you put in the final edge and solve the bottom side. There's not many algorithms and most of the algorithms are the same sort of thing on Pyramix. It always is something like that. Here's how this works. Now I didn't move any of the tips because it's really not necessary. First, what we're gonna do is from any spot, make two edges solved that are next to each other. And this is kind of an intuitive process. So just, you can mess around with the cube. Usually I'll look for one that's already solved and I don't really have anything. But what I'm going to do is solve that red and blue one. And then I either need green and blue or green and red. Here's green and red right here. And I can solve it that way. So now what's gonna happen is this is our keyhole. We're going from top down. And since I have blue, green, red here, I need to get yellow all on bottom. So we have three yellow centers. So we need to get those on bottom and we're gonna use this keyhole to do that. So I move it over here, put that center down. Move it over here, bring that center down. That happened to have solved that keyhole. That's not a normal thing that'll happen. You usually have to solve that afterwards. I'll orient the top layer, and then solve this final one with an algorithm. And there we go. Let's walk this through a little bit slower. So first, let's scramble it again. I'm just randomly scrambling it here, not really focusing too much on it. Okay, so again, we intuitively solve two edges. This one's already solved, so I'm gonna kinda of go up here and either need blue, yellow, or blue, green. Since we have blue, green, yellow on top, that means red is going to be on bottom. Well, here's blue, yellow, and here's blue, green. I'll do the blue, yellow one, which will make that solved, and this will be our keyhole to put red on bottom. So with that there, I'll put red on bottom. Then I'll move that keyhole over, put red on bottom, and move the keyhole over, put red on bottom. Next after that, we finish the spot, and the blue green is right here. So what you're gonna do to insert that final one is you make the color opposite in front. I don't want blue blue, I want blue green. I'll put the algorithm below. There's two algorithms for whether it's on the left side or the right side. Really what you're doing is moving it out of the way, that side down, put it back up, in it. So again, you're moving it R, L, R prime, L prime. Now, let's say it was like that, but you had green. You will want to put blue in front, so they're opposite, and just do the opposite of that. It's L prime, R prime, L, R, and that moves it in. The one other issue you can have is where it's in place, but flipped. So there's a couple algorithms for this, but what the algorithms really are is just filling it with a random one and then putting in the correct one. So that's right there. I'll do the same thing on the right side. I put a random one in and I put this one correct. And after a couple times, you'll see where that piece goes. The algorithm shows how to move the top layer, but Really, you'll see where that goes. 
Once you have this top layer solved, you just orient it. And now you have the bottom layer. And there's three cases you can have. So I'm going to come back to this one in just a second. So the first main case you can have is where you have these three out of place, but two of them are flipped the wrong way. And what you'll notice is one of them can just move straight down. So here's a red and yellow, it can move right down to here. And all you're going to do is a really simple R prime L R L prime. And same thing if it's on the left side, it needs to go down here, you do the same thing just with the left hand. So you do L R prime L prime R. Now, if I see something like this, and I can see that the red and blue needs to go here. So what you're noticing is you look at the ones that are flipped and does this need to go here? Does this need to go here? That's really what you're checking. So even though red and yellow can go here, you're looking at where those ones go. You could turn the cube and do this with your left hand. But what you want to get used to doing is when you see that, just being able to do it from any angle. So here's the first case, when you just look at which ones are flipped and doesn't need to go to one spot or the other one up. So you just look at which way it goes. The next one is where they're all oriented correctly, but not in the right spots. So if this needs to go clockwise, what you'll do is start with that first algorithm starting on the left hand. So doing L R prime L prime R. And then you do another R U prime R prime U. So you could just write that as an R2. L R prime L prime R2 U prime R prime U. And that'd be the same thing on the left hand. If you see that this needs to go that way, you start with the right hand. So when you have these edges flipped but in the right spot, you'll start with that first algorithm, that R prime L, R, L prime, then grab a top layer and do U, L prime, U prime, L. So there's only three algorithms for the bottom, really. It's if you just have a simple moving it down here or that way, the one where they're all oriented and just need to go clockwise or counterclockwise, or the one where you have two in the right place and just need to be flipped. And that's it. That's keyhole method. So to go through the steps one more time, you intuitively put in two slots, use the keyhole to orient the final three centers, put in the final edge, and then solve the bottom side, and then fix the tips at the end. From there, what you can do is there's a lot more algorithms that you can learn for orienting the bottom layer while also solving that edge. But what you really want to do at this point is start trying to figure out where that edge is going to be ahead of time. So as you are orienting those bottom edges, you already know where it's going to go and you just need to solve it and you just can track it that way. That's much easier and instead of learning a bunch of algorithms, you start to figure out how it moves without needing too much memorization. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below, hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future and as always stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.